had trouble breathing since like yesterday morning where you can feel tightness in your throat uh, in your chest and then I kept clearing my throat so I was like I don't know what that is so I took some hot lemon ginger and then at night the pain in my chest got really bad I woke up to go to the washroom and I felt faint they did the blood test nothing looks unusual I don't have a fever um, but because they don't do COVID testing they told me to go to another hospital so I can do it. So that's why I've come to get roads. I just got my results on uh, email like five minutes ago. I just opened it and uh, apparently I tested positive for COVID. At least I'm on medication, building my immunity, taking vitamin C, antibiotics, painkillers. I started that even before I took the covid test yeah i woke up feeling very breathless today so i had to get out of bed early because i noticed that when i lie down my breathing is more labored than usual i've been using this little thingy-mabob to check my pulse it was a bit low today it's supposed to be at lowest 95 but today i was at 91 92 and then it went up to 96. Now it's at 94. Uh, I just keep checking. Because it feels like my oxygen levels are a bit low today. I forgot to give an update. Um, last night I got a call from somebody, I think, in Ministry of Health. Apparently when you test positive for COVID, they do wellness checks on you. So depending on your sub county or something like that or your district it's getting kind of boring though because you can't leave you ca you literally cannot leave the house so just staying indoors um i've still been on the medication that i was told to take today i lost my sense of taste <laughs> so that's fun so anything that could taste nice can't be tasted my sense of smell and taste are still not back. Now I have horrible nausea, which is also stopping me from eating. I don't have much energy. Um, the past two days I've literally just been surviving on the quickest thing that's there to get, which is just bread and tea or hot chocolate. Yesterday I had the last, the last of the chicken soup. I'm literally having to sit up straight to be able to even film this because every time I try to lie down, I feel like the food is... Like even right now, I had breakfast at what? Probably about 10 a.m. It's almost 1 now and I feel like my breakfast is still right here. Two, three days ago, no, two days ago, I had to get uh, medication called... Um, no sick to help with the nausea but you know this nausea has a mind of its own so right now it is 2 30 pm the only thing i've been able to keep down is my smoothie fruit and veggie smoothie like baby spinach and mango and apple i'm so nauseated right now i feel like I'm so tired. Let's just put it that way. I don't know what to do. I'm so nauseated. Half of this battle is keeping yourself mentally and emotionally healthy as well. But it's hard to do that when your mind and soul are... <laughs> not as healthy and I don't even know man am I making sense <laughs> I'm really trying to keep cheerful but yo is this nausea mm. Mm -mm -mm. the last video I did I wasn't feeling too well so I don't even know man it, it, it's been a dramatic couple of days 
I've finally been able to eat again. Um, my strength is back up. I've started eating more things. Before, the only thing that I could have was smoothie. A smoothie that had fruits and vegetables, um, which was good for my body because I hadn't eaten in about three days. Other than like bread. But now my strength is back up. I had pancake. I've had smoothie, um, some more chicken soup. What else have I had? I had some porridge as well, which was good. But just documenting the process has really helped me see like the changes my body has gone through. I don't think as many people have done videos about their own COVID journey. So yeah, I really needed to see this to see like the progress. Um, I'm currently sitting down trying to pen a post about my journey. So that's also another positive thing that I'm choosing to see the lessons and the journey as a whole instead of just the little pockets of either feeling bad or feeling stronger. I'm seeing it as a whole journey and what I'm learning through this entire process. I've officially been home for three weeks now because my first day just chilling in the house was the 30th. But I didn't test positive for COVID until the third because I was having a few symptoms. So yeah, I've been home for three weeks, but on quarantine for two and a half, basically. Um, my body is feeling stronger because I guess I've been able to eat a lot more. Um, but my sense of taste and smell are not 100% back. Like, there are some meals that I can taste, especially anything that's a bit salty. I can taste that. But I can't smell the meals. I can't really taste the flavor of the food. I can just taste the salt, which is a bit weird because when I checked online, a lot of people said that their sense of smell and taste came slowly and then it all came back. So I don't know if it's prejudiced to salty food <laughs> for me. But yeah, that's one thing I've noticed this week. I had some horrible nausea yesterday, but also there was something else um, happening with my body that I didn't understand. So I've had to keep the anti-nausea medication on hand. Um, but other than that, I feel like my body is getting stronger. I've been able to leave the house once, but just for a walk. I'm hoping to do some more walking this week. I'm back at Karura. Fortunately, it's a weekday. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's raining. Or rather, drizzling. So, I armed myself. Uh, I definitely feel much stronger today. I knew I needed to get out of the house because whew, it's been a while. Uh, I came back to Karura again today because I needed to clear my head and also needed to get out of the house but in a safe environment. So I came here, walked for about an hour and a half. Today was definitely much better than the last time I came. Yeah, I'm so glad I got out of the house. So glad I came out here. I've done my walk, uh, had my snack drank some water, sat out here, listened to my podcasts, all the things I love to do, almost all the things I love to do. I really enjoyed my time out of the house today, I think because I was more prepared. The last time I wasn't prepared because I hadn't remembered that I didn't leave the house for almost three weeks. And so I came out here and expected my body to be like, yeah, in fact, let's hire a bike and let's do this and... My body was like, ma'am, we don't think so. <laughs> Hi, I'm just waiting to do my second COVID test. Um, I'm actually next in line. I'll show you what that looks like. Mm. So this one break normally, the way you do break. Thank you. Mm. It's over. Thank you. Mm. Ooh. 